I believe he will be the youngest heavyweight champion of all time. And if he remains dedicated, interested, and without any distractions, I believe that eventually he will go down in history as the greatest heavyweight champion we've ever had. Returning to the past, we will see a man who has become a great icon of boxing. First of all, I'd like to just thank the cuss for putting in all the hard work. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to say hello to all my family back home. I knew from the beginning, but everybody else knew that yeah. it was no calm. It was no calm. Mm -hmm. Let's like the rest of it. A lot of people came to look. Jesse Ferguson came to look. The Frasers came yeah. to look. James Broad was out there. James, all of you, all of you come get some. Cause Mike Tyson's out here. He's waiting for you. All come get some. He was called the baddest man on the planet for his incredible punching power and aggressive fighting style. His speed, strength, and vicious aggression earned him the title of the youngest world heavyweight champion in 1986. He is Iron Mike Tyson. Today, we will show you all of the most brutal and aggressive knockouts of the legendary Iron Mike. Mike Tyson made his professional debut on March 6, 1985, against Puerto Rican Hector Mercedes. From the very beginning of the fight, the 18-year-old Tyson pounced on his opponent without giving him a single chance. Swinging hooks to the body from Tyson, and if that is it in round one, that is a pretty impressive professional debut from the man who so nearly went to the Olympics in Los Angeles last year. Mike Tyson versus Trent Singleton. In the first round, Mike had a magnificent streak of four punches, the last of which landed right on Singleton's jaw. Knocked down. Trent got to his feet and continued the fight. However, he could not resist for long. He gets a mandatory eight under New York State Athletic Commission rules. And already, from what little we've seen, Mike Tyson and his pro career, down goes Singleton again, a left hook this time, and body, and he's just a perpetual motion machine so far. This isn't going to go too long. Trent Singleton in all sorts of trouble. We're already in round one. The Mike Tyson, the young, fledgling professional. Two fights, two wins, the debut on the sixth. Mike Tyson versus Don Halpin. In the first minute of the fourth round, Halpin misses several incoming punches. Bouncing off the ropes, Don falls to his knees. He gets up and continues the fight, which did not last long. Can Tyson finish this? I think so. I think so. That's enough. Now that last right hander, that was questionable. Tyson celebrates. Mike Tyson versus Ricardo Spain. Shake hands, come out boxing. Good luck, gentlemen. Mike Tyson, three fights. After a series of 12 unanswered blows from Tyson, Spain tried to find salvation in a clinch. Immediately after, Mike sends him to the canvas with a left hook. It's like a steam hammer. And Ricardo's. Ricardo gets up by the count of eight and immediately is sent back to the floor with another powerful left hook. The referee was forced to stop the fight. I don't believe it. That's, that's well inside a minute. Spain can't believe it. Tyson absolutely destroyed it, man. Mike Tyson versus Michael Johnson. Hold on to your hats. Nobody thinks it's going to go that far. Well, up, there he goes. He's just going to pull. From the very first seconds, Mike begins to attack his opponent, pressing him to the ropes. A left hook to the body sends him into a knockdown. Johnson gets up and wants to continue the fight, but a right cross knocks him out. I hope he's not hurt because that was a brutal wide open punch. He did not have his guard up and Mike Tyson Mike Tyson versus Robert Collet. From the very beginning of the fight, Collet tried to keep Tyson at a distance with a long jab. But taking advantage of his overwhelming speed, Mike leaves his opponent no chance.
Mike Tyson versus Sterling Benjamin. In the first round, Mike pushes his opponent to the ropes, then throws a left hook, knockdown. After the referee counted the knockdown, Mike Tyson again pounced on the opponent and launched 12 unanswered punches on him. Literally, a second before the referee was about to intervene and stop the beating, Tyson carries out a powerful blow to the liver, and Benjamin is again on the canvas. Mike Tyson versus Eddie Richardson. From the very beginning of the fight, it became clear that it would not last long. Richardson held his hands low and tried to keep Tyson at a distance with a sluggish jab. After the third clinch, Mike pushes his opponent into the corner of the ring and throws his signature left hook to the head. Richardson goes back onto the canvas. Mike Tyson versus Conroy Nelson. Round two. Working with a jab, Tyson puts himself in a good position and taking advantage of Nelson's failed strike, puts a left hook into Nelson's jaw. Conroy falls onto the canvas. Becoming a Tyson trademark. Well, fight number 13, unlucky 13. I don't think so. Overhead right, then taking him out with a vicious left hand. Counted him out at 30 seconds of the round. Very good fight, experienced fighter. Mike Tyson versus Sammy Scaff. Eva Shane. Now look at the height yeah. difference, at least six inches. The first round. In one of the corners, Tyson ducks under his opponent's blows and again lands his signature left hook to the head. By this point, Sammy's face was already covered in blood. Another left hook, and Tyson knocks the opponent down. The referee stops the fight. Mike Tyson versus Mark Young. In the middle of the first round, Young makes an unforgivable mistake. He walks forward without hitting, completely covering his entire view with his gloves. Tyson makes a terrific side pull, throwing a powerful right uppercut to the head and knocking down his opponent. The blow threw Young to the ropes from the very middle of the ring. Another victory by knockout. Mike Tyson versus David Jaco. As you might expect, Jaco tried to keep Tyson at bay with his jab. However, despite his superiority in arm's length and height, he manages to miss Tyson's attacks. At the end of the first round, Tyson began to target his opponent, but missed with his powerful left hook. He immediately thrust a right hook into Jaco's head. David is back on the canvas. The referee had no choice but to stop the fight due to the rule of three knockdowns. Mike Tyson versus Mike Jameson. Tyson in the black trunks. Figures to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson, he's after him, and that's the end of round number Why don't you use it? Get that left jab out and keep this little guy off you. He Here comes Tyson. 
Davis. Mike Tyson takes two steps forward. Let's go with a couple of lefts. Now a right, a left. He's got him down. Mike Tyson sends Mike Jamison to the mat here in round number four for young Mike Tyson. The fifth round. Jamison stepped up noticeably and tried to catch his opponent with a jab in this fight that was moving quickly. Tyson waited. Seizing the moment, he throws his powerful left hook that knocks Jamison back into the ropes. Here, having carried out a four-hit combination on the body with a transfer to the head, Tyson forces his opponent to drop to his knee. Jamison gets up again and wants to continue. However, Joe Cortez felt it would be better for him to stop the fight. Jamison wants to continue. Referee Joe Cortez says no. Jamison says he wants to go on, but the referee Joe Cortez says it is over here in the Mike Tyson versus Jesse Ferguson. This fight was supposed to show that Mike Tyson was a serious contender for the world title and not just an exaggerated figure as many still believed he was. The fifth round. Tyson presses Ferguson to the ropes where he carries out his signature combination of a right hook to the body and right uppercut to the head. Jesse falls to the canvas. Mike Tyson versus Steve Zowski. The third round. Mike continues to work with single punches and forces the opponent to retreat throughout the ring. This could not go on for long. Tyson crouches on his left leg and delivers a lightning fast left hook to the opponent's head. It was a classic knockout. Mike Tyson versus Reggie Gross. From the very beginning of the fight, it was clear that Reggie Gross was afraid of Tyson. He hits with a jab and then immediately jumps back. Suddenly, Reggie explodes with a 15 hit combination. He even manages to strike his opponent with an uppercut right in the jaw. But Mike Tyson, having waited for the right moment, under the hail of blows, throws his signature left and sends Gross to the canvas. The audience roars with delight. Mike Tyson versus William Hosea. William Hosea did not seem to be a strong opponent from the very beginning of the fight. A crisp left hook rocks Hosea. And a right uppercut rocks him again. Hosea. After a clinch, Mike catches Hosea with an oncoming left jab and tries to develop the attack with a powerful streak. Because of the number and strength of the blows, Hosea falls onto the canvas. 
He was clearly not eager to continue the fight and deliberately did not get up at the count of 10. The referee stopped the fight. And I'm ready for the guy and I've also examined the, the things Mr. Tyson does, his flaws, and I know what I'm going to do for him when he makes those mistakes. Mike Tyson versus Lorenzo Boyd. Lorenzo Boyd giving away an awful lot of weight, crowding Tyson and looking for an opening. I know Boyd wants to come in with the uppercut. Yeah. To the Going into close range, Boyd tries to break through Mike's defense, but in vain. Tyson calmly approaches him and hits him with his signature combination of a right hook to the body and right uppercut to the head. Lorenzo falls onto the canvas. Down goes Lorenzo Boyd. The count is five. The count is six. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's over. Sam, show me what heavyweight. Mike Tyson versus Marvis Frazier. Before the fight, commentator Alex Wallau noticed the question is not whether Mike Tyson will knock Marvis Frazier out, but when he will knock him out. Like his father, Marvis relies on pressure and stamina and intensity to beat an opponent, but that aggressiveness... The first round. Moving away from the ropes, Marvis makes a fatal mistake and walks into the corner. And here, Mike Tyson makes one of his most spectacular combinations. He catches Frazier with a right uppercut, his legs buckling. This is a knockout. Referee Joe Cortez counted to five, but seeing that Marvis would not get up, he stopped the fight. Last 20 seconds. Tyson goes over to take a look at Marvis Frazier, obviously quite concerned. A terrific uppercut. The same punch with which Tyson knocked out Jesse Ferguson the first time you saw him here on ABC Sports. Watch the uppercut, the right uppercut. Mike Tyson versus Jose Ribalta. Round 10. After clinching in the middle of the ring, the boxers made a small exchange with powerful punches. The audience cheers for Ribalta and chants, Jose, Jose. Mike clearly doesn't like this and goes on the attack with a powerful right cross to the head. He misses and immediately adds a left to the jaw. Ribalta falls back onto the canvas. He stands up and intends to continue the fight. Tyson immediately pounces on his opponent with a series of blows to the head. All five blows land exactly on target. The referee thought it was time to intervene and stop the fight. Mike Tyson versus Alfonso Ratliff. A year before the fight, Alfonso lost his WBC cruiserweight title and was considered to be a serious opponent for Mike Tyson's growing experience. The second round. After waiting a moment, Mike dodges to the left and lands a powerful left hook to Ratliff's jaw. He falls onto the canvas. Rising to one knee, he waits for the referee to count to nine and then stands up. Mike Tyson rushes to finish and fires a series of eight punches. Ratliff finds salvation in a clinch. After the referee breaks the clinch, Tyson begins beating Ratliff near the ropes. Another sign, of course, that you look for is can the man finish? And Tyson has left little doubt about that so far. Right hand, that should be just about it. Davy Pearl looking very closely. Incidentally, is a much more important fight for Tyson. 
Mike Tyson vs. Trevor Burbick. The truly historic fight was dubbed by advertisers as Doomsday. It was attended by about 8,800 people, including movie stars and numerous celebrities. At 20 years, 4 months, and 22 days, Mike Tyson with this victory became the youngest world champion in the history of boxing, surpassing Floyd Patterson. It was not just a duel, it was a total destruction of Trevor Burbeck. Mike Tyson vs. Pinklin Thomas. This fight was for the WBC and WBA titles at once. From about the middle of the sixth round, a real beating begins in the ring. Thomas misses an incoming monstrous left hook. Then Mike Tyson throws 17 more powerful unanswered blows to the head with both hands. Pinklin Thomas fell to the canvas. This is a knockout. championship fight. I think he counted him out. I'm not sure if that's going to be scored as a TKO or a knockout. I think he may have counted him out. We'll have to wait and get the official scoring. Beautiful, beautiful. To hear exactly how it goes. I think he had Mike Tyson versus Tyrell Biggs. The fight lasted until the seventh round. At the very beginning, Tyrell immediately enters the clinch. Tyson strikes from the left. He hits with a forearm and knocks out Big's mouthpiece. Another lingering clinch, and Mike Tyson throws a hard, short left strike to Tyrell's temple. Tyrell Biggs falls out of the ropes. His face is covered with blood, but he still manages to get up to the count of nine and decides to continue the fight. Breaking the distance a little, Tyson thrust another left side to the jaw. The blow was the last for Tyrell Biggs. Mike Tyson versus Larry Holmes. In the middle of the fourth round, Mike throws a powerful combination to the head. Knockdown. Larry gets up to the count of ten and continues the fight. Mike Tyson lashes out at him with the traditional fury. Larry Holmes is unable to contend with this and falls again. Holmes rises at the count of four and again intends to continue the fight. Mike Tyson pushes Holmes back to the ropes and starts the beating again. Mike Tyson versus Tony Tubbs. The second round. Mike once again reaches a comfortable distance for an attack and applies his famous combination, a right hook to the body and a right uppercut to the head. Tony Tubbs almost falls down. After the referee broke the clinch, Tony was still not completely recovered and very hesitantly walked along the ropes. Mike Tyson did not miss this chance. After waiting for the opponent to come within striking distance, he throws a powerful left hook exactly to the temple. Fight is over. With stunning swiftness. And the fans are enjoying Mike Tyson versus Michael Spinks. This fight attracted a huge public interest and was named once and for all by the promoters. The winner left the ring as the absolute and unconditional champion. Such an event had not happened since 1971, when two undefeated champions, Joe Frazier and Muhammad Ali, had met in the ring. Good 
Lance Lewis wasn't anxious. Mike Tyson versus Frank Bruno. Shake hands, good luck. The sixth round. After a pause, Mike throws two blows to the head on the right and left. Then a second later, he punches his famous combination of a right hook to the body and a right uppercut to the head. Frank Bruno is absolutely lost and practically does not react to the blows. Another right uppercut and then a left hook, and the referee decides to stop the fight. It's all over. Michael Tyson wins on a fifth round TKO. Mike Tyson versus Carl Williams. This fight only lasted 93 seconds, and it also became Tyson's second fastest title fight. In the middle of the first round, Williams tries to hit Tyson with a left jab. Tyson parried and hit Williams with a left hook, which threw Williams back to the rope. Although Williams was able to get to his feet and seemed ready to continue the fight, it was stopped by the referee. Mike Tyson versus Henry Tillman. The over under is two and a half. Just 25 seconds before the end of the first round, Tyson drove Tillman into a corner. Tillman tried to fight back, but Tyson responded with a strong right hook, and Tillman fell onto the canvas. A clear knockout. Mike Tyson versus Alex Stewart. Protect yourself at all times. You, baby. Focus, touch gloves. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. That's right, baby. The question as an old Tyson. As soon as the fight started, Tyson went on the attack and made an excellent combination, after which Stewart fell to the canvas. After another clinch, Tyson misses with a long right swing, but immediately adds a short and precise left hook to the head. The opponent falls under the ropes. Mike Tyson versus Donovan Ruddick. The fight was tough. Both men tried to throw punches throughout the fight. The seventh round. The fight was coming to an end. Tyson was able to hit Ruddock with a combination of six blows. Although Ruddock remained on his feet and looked healthy enough to continue the fight, the referee stopped the match, awarding Tyson a TKO victory.
Mike Tyson versus Peter McNeely. The instruction to dress to check yourself at all times. I expect a tough, clean fight. Any questions from McNeely's corner? Any questions from Mr. Tyson's corner? Let's get it on! At the beginning of the first round, Tyson sent his opponent to the canvas with a right hook to the head. McNeely jumped up and suddenly ran around the ring. The referee grabbed his arm and began to count the knockdown. The fight continued. Seconds into the fight, McNeely on the canvas. In the middle of the round, Tyson made a successful attack and sent McNeely to the canvas with a right uppercut. Mike Tyson versus Buster Mathis Jr. Protect your cipher at all times. Touch close. Just 40 seconds before the end of the third round, Tyson was able to inflict successive right uppercuts that threw Mathis to the canvas. Mathis couldn't rise by the count of 10. It was a knockout. Mike Tyson versus Frank Bruno. Let's get it on. Less than a minute after the start of the third round, Tyson dodged Bruno's jab and made a combination of 13 blows, as a result of which the referee stopped the fight. Mike Tyson versus Bruce Seldon. In the middle of the first round, Seldon was knocked down with a left hook thrown by Tyson, which was immediately followed by a right cross that further hurt Seldon. Seldon got up at the count of eight and resumed the fight, but was almost immediately knocked out by another left hook. with a left hook and Seldon is down on his stomach. Steve, there are two unalterable truths in boxing. If you have a great chin, you don't have a great chin, you can't get one, you can't buy one or learn one. Oh, you get it, but he's wobbly. You can always win. Mike Tyson versus Francois Botha. Comes out bobbing and weaving something to Tyson. Botha was a pretty powerful boxer. After four rounds, many spectators were surprised. Botha fought Tyson on an equal footing, and some believe that he even had an advantage. However, at the end of the fifth round, Tyson sent his opponent to the canvas with a right cross to the chin. Botha got up to the count of 10, but immediately fell onto the ropes. The referee announced a knockout. Mike Tyson versus Julius Francis. That's a lot more than most people thought. That left hook to the body hurts, Steve. He could be in trouble right here. He's stunned and down he goes. Vintage. Mike, which miss? Looking to end it here. They can try again. He staggers Francis. Tough body shot. Gets up at eight. 16 seconds into round two. He's been down three times. How much more punishment? There's a left up for The fight lasted two rounds, in which Francis managed to be knocked down five times.
Mike Tyson versus Lou Severisi. Good luck to you both. Some respect. This fight ended in a huge scandal. 19 seconds into the fight, Tyson knocked Severisi down with a brilliant left hook. When the enemy got up, intending to continue the fight, Tyson rushed to finish him off. Mike Tyson versus Brian Nielsen. Mike Tyson looking. Oh, quick combination of the head. And down goes Nielsen. He got to go to clean up a bit. A hook in the right hand. And another hook. And he. Oh, a big. By the end of the sixth round, Nielsen's left eye was completely closed. When the seventh round started, Brian refused to continue the fight, and the referee awarded Tyson the victory with a TKO. Mike Tyson versus Clifford Etienne. At the beginning of the first round, Tyson missed with his left hook, but he immediately threw out a right hook, and as a result, Etienne was on the canvas. The referee stops the fight. Give me first your reaction to the fight. Oh, the fight, I was confident. I trained real hard with my trainer, Kevin Rooney, who I owe a great deal to. And I came out and I was confident. I came out, I knew the fight. I felt the deep in my heart, I was going to stop him in the first round. Did you know from watching tapes of him that you could hit him with the uppercut? No, that, that's my favorite punch. Um, and, I, and I watched the time and I knew from my trainer telling me as he throws his punches, he's bent down. And I knew that would be perfect for my uppercut. I planned on working the body more, but I saw the opportunity and it looked too good to go away. In your mind, if your managers Jim Jacobs and Bill Caton and your trainer Kevin Rooney came to you and said, Mike, we think you're ready for a title shot tomorrow, do you, would you agree with them at this point? Most definitely. Anytime if my manager and my trainer feel that I'm confident and they're willing to put me in a title and they're sure I could beat the champion, I'm sure I could beat them also. Of the three champions, who would you like to fight and why? Fight anybody my trainer put me in with because I'm confident I could beat any fighter in the world. What do you think of the three champions? They're all good fighters because you, you have to be a good fighter. You can't take nothing away from them to become the champion. But I'm confident and I'm ready. And I'm ready when my trainer tells me. This is the world of boxing. Thank you for watching. Please press the like button and comment below, as well as subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new episodes about legends of the past.